Amy Brassett McKeon, a Louisiana native, a comedic actor, and lover of all things New Orleans, one of the greatest cities in the world. We'll follow four locals who compete for prizes and show us New Orleans through a local lens. Anybody can have fun with a ton of cash, but our contestants will have to use their creativity to pass a good time on a dime. This is My Amazing Cheap Date, New Orleans. Welcome to My Amazing Cheap Date, New Orleans. We've enlisted four local singles to go head to head and have the best date they can in New Orleans for under 50 bucks. My name is Viva and I work in the music industry and I put on concerts for a living. Hi, I'm Kyle. I am a um, humble bartender. I guess I go to the shows you put on then because I'm an avid festival and concert goer. <laughs> Y'all really look like you're gonna have fun together. I yeah. Think so. yeah, no, I think yeah. so, yeah. So tell me your name and a little about yourself. My name is Telly. I work in internet marketing and I really like to do puzzles and like brain teasers and stuff. So I think I'll be pretty good at figuring out how to solve these problems. And along on this ride with Telly, we have... Malcolm. Hey, Malcolm. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I'm 31 years old. I've lived in New Orleans for about four years, and I'm a bicycle mechanic. So today, I'm judging your date on four criteria. The number of activities you complete, how creative you are with those activities, how close you get to the $50, and the most important one, how much fun I have watching y'all. Your challenges are get physical, cool off with a treat, get your game on, and dinner under $10. Okay, so y'all get on up and get out of here and have a fabulous time. <laughs> I'm excited. I think we're gonna have a lot in common and I think we're probably gonna win. There's so much to do in the city that you can easily do for less than 10 bucks at every place. It's a lot of fun. I'm excited that uh, I have the opportunity for someone to set me up. That's not my decision. And <laughs> Going on a cheap date is not something new to me. Hey, I'm Ashley Hansen, and this is Hansen Snowbliss. It's a small snowball stand that my grandparents started in 1939. Would you rather get two and do different flavors and try as many flavors as possible? Or the split or, one? Or save, yeah, and split. Viva is an event coordinator, and so I expect this date to be very organized. Do y'all have tiger's blood? Oh, we do. Oh, they do? Yeah. I love when snowball flavors sound disgusting and turn out to be delicious. Tiger's blood with condensed milk? Yeah. Which one on here would you, like, absolutely not Oh, try? not get? Yeah. Well, I don't know what brown pelican is. Wait, what is the brown pelican? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right, all you know right. what? I probably wouldn't get a root beer float. Same. Gonna be honest. I hate root beer. Yeah, not a big fan <laughs> of it. Yeah. Two people who hate root beer. Well, I never. Never had it with condensed milk. First bite. Thanks. This has like a Lady in the Tramp vibe to it. Am I right? It's so good. I don't think it's I've so understood wrong. what Tiger's Blood actually is yet. I think it's strawberry coconut. Mm, that is good. I'm really happy that we came to Hanson's. Uh, it's one of like the, it's basically the epitome of what you think of when you go uh, to get a snowball experience in New Orleans. We had talked about snowball flavors and Tiger Blood ends up being one of our favorites, but uh, I've never had it with condensed milk, so it was fun to try something a little different, but still have something that I knew. I really like Kyle. I think he's an interesting guy. Five is a lot of fun. Uh, I think we'll have a lot of fun with the rest of these challenges, too. Is this your first time here? I've never been here before, either. Hi. My name's Sam. This is New Orleans Shaolin. We're a traditional Chinese martial arts school that teaches Kung Fu and Tai Chi. This is where everybody goes to get their ninja skills. All right, so I guess we'll just get started. Okay. So take a step back. And so now it's kind of like you have a kickstand, your legs are kind of wide. And then the next thing I say is just to like put your hands up in front of you. Just like, hey, I don't want to be fight. Exactly. I took a couple karate classes in high school. So that was like 16 years ago. So I, I think I still got it. I'm going to have you guys hold this and practice striking. Don't take all my money. <laughs> Great idea for a first date. I want to get to know you while beating the crap out of you. Jesus, very Good. 
So now we're gonna do another drill with this where you're gonna practice pushing. This sounds horrifying to me. Good. He is much stronger than me and I need to be making sure I'm on my P's and Q's. Don't say anything crazy. All right, that's it. Thank you. Well, let me know if you know if you have any questions. Do you think you could do a hip throw on me? I knew immediately when I walked in the door I wanted him to pick me up and throw me down the ground. <laughs> I will lock. Yeah. I will step behind yeah. you and then I just pull you. <laughs> hey, great, we're done. But can you fracture my back real quick? Is that what you were expecting? Yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. <laughs> when you're like six foot three, two hundred and thirty pounds or whatever like getting picked up like you're a little baby. It's a rarity. It feels real. yeah, it's rare. It feels really good. So that'll be 15 per person. Okay, so $30. No deals. All right, well, we had a 15, try. 15, no deals. Thank you. Thank you. And Thank thanks you. for coming. Have a great rest of your day. See you, Our couples have each been challenged to have an amazing cheap date in New Orleans for less than 50 bucks. Let's see how they handle the next challenges. Thank you. Of course. Let's get our game on. I am one of the co-owner of D4 Tabletop Gaming Cafe with my uh, my husband, Mark, is the other owner. I believe what sets us apart is the combination of you get to order food and sit down and play. People come for the aesthetic and the comfort. Ready? This get is our terrible. Class on. I'm starting this up. Ah! Ah! <laughs> yeah! They should have that on the table at country restaurants instead of those little triangle games, the little pegs. I have a surprise, because I keep something in my car at all times. This party's about to get started, y'all. I bring Uno. Ooh, I'm down for Uno. Oh, it's Uno. Oh, that's cute. I'm going to change it to blue. Okay. Like the one on Family Game Uno. that you picked. Wow, that was quick. Keep drawing until you can't play, right? That's yeah, like, oh, yeah. God. That's why you asked that question. That's bull. You even own me an Uno. Yeah. I thought I'd be cool and bring my own game. Wait, well, you want to play one more game? Absolutely. Okay. Are we getting get class back up on the board? Yes. I don't know what the rules are anymore. I'm having more. I'm just having fun hitting a ball around. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you knock the penalty on me. Oh, wow. Boom! I, I think it's the fact that it needs to be balanced. There is obviously. Like, we said that it, was, that it was. That it was. I'm. It. That's it. Quite literally, in your favor. It rolls to my side. To give you a better shot. <laughs> I am kind of a sore loser, so it was a good thing for him not to see um, an uglier side of me. Good idea, girl. You save your cuckoo till later. Now where? Now we need to, we need to get physical. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really, I kind of, I want to know what the other couple's doing because what we're doing has been really fun so far. So I still think we have a really good chance. Do you know these dogs by name? No, they don't let me get close enough. Okay, that's cool. Hi. 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 What makes us different is that we hand make all of our flavors and we use local seasonal ingredients. We work with a lot of local farms. Everything we make is all natural and small batch and our menu rotates weekly based on what kind of ingredients we can get our hands on. Most snowballs are like high fructose corn syrup and red dye number 40. This place has all natural ingredients. That's really cool. Chanson Hell is super cute. They have two dogs and they're very, very cool. They're the size of like little baked potatoes. Yeah, two baked potatoes sitting on their front porch ready yeah. to greet you. You want to do the dill pickle? Okay. Let's do the dill pickle. Yeah. Yeah. Do you do you have this in where you're from? We have snowballs, but not like this. That's why when I was like when I heard it, I was like, yeah, what's the big deal? You know, yeah. it's like someone being like, these French fries are really good. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know, right? But you realize like it's it's like a different level. You Thank you. How much do we owe you? Five bucks. We got dill the, pickle. Yeah, dill pickle. Savory, like, savory and sweet. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, that's interesting. Dude, it actually does taste like a pickle. Yeah. I don't really like sweet pickles, but me neither. I think they're the best. But I like this. Oh, I've got I've got brain freeze right now. That's the worst feeling. But your tongue there for your mouth is supposed to make it go away. Does it work? It's right? literally still going. Oh, okay, there we go. That was intense. That was kind of scary, actually. Why, why don't you breathe? Do you want anything at that place? <laughs> I really like her. 
I hope she likes me too. I think we're getting along pretty well. We have like a lot in common and we kind of have the same sense of humor, so that's been really fun, kind of going back and forth. We have like super good banter. Like, consoles? Sure. Chips? Did you say sure really weird? Sh sure. sure. Like there's gonna be a shore nearby. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have I an have accent. accent. I, do. It's I don't have an accent. You have an Listen accent. Listen to this. Dog. Dog? Mm -hmm. It's rough. Exactly right. It's rough. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. I feel like we're kind of winning because I know we've been able to do kind of a lot of things already and we're not even like halfway through the day. So I feel like it's just going to get better and better. We've got a lot of first timers that come in here and um, a lot of them are kind of apprehensive. They're a little bit scared about throwing hatchets. So it's our job to kind of like calm them down, show them how to do it. It takes a while to get a hang of it, but once you do, it's addicting. So we're throwing hatchets at a place called Stumpies. Like somebody lost a limb. All right, so do right. We, should we do this at yeah. the same time or well, one that's after what another? Well, I think we should first throw at least at the same time. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, so we both <laughs> sucked on the first one. Wait, should we make a bet? What's the bet? Then whoever sticks the first has to do something. Three, two, one. <laughs> All right, so what do you want? You have to tell me what is your biggest insecurity mentally. Glad my therapy's tomorrow. <laughs> I, I always wonder if who I think I am is the same person that other people think I am. No way. How yeah. you're perceived. Yeah, how you're perceived. Always. Same, especially after COVID. Well, especially like, after just because everything. Because I spent so much time alone, so now I'm like, I know who I am like, yeah. by myself, but nobody. And who I think I am, yeah. who I think people see me as. But totally. how they actually see me as, I don't know. Yeah, I am on the same page there. OK. Oh, wait, together, three, two, one. Ah! Oh, this is not as easy as I thought it would be. No. I, I didn't know how difficult it would be. No, this was probably the most fun I've had on the segment of the date so far. We kind of uh, opened up conversation a bit more, too. Yeah, oh, finally. nice! Good <laughs> <That's laughs> right. That's exciting. Oh, oh yay! That's Look really that. close. Okay, okay. I We're getting more that. dangerous. Mm, this place is so fun. Like, honestly, Probably one of the top 10 dates that I've been on in New Orleans. I almost forgot there was another couple we were competing against. This has been so much fun. <gasps> oh. Wow! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. ah! Yes, she got it. She got it. Boom, Viva La Viva, baby. But That's in it. Pass. That's in it. Pass. I would ring no. it. I would still ring it. That's halfway All in. All right, I'll do it. That's I'll do, awesome. I'll do one ring. Ready, just one. Yeah, just one. There you go. <laughs> this was 25. We had spent 10 earlier, so we're only at 35. Dinner's supposed to be 10 under, so hopefully we'll have just just under. I assume you like pizza? Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't? Who's like, pizza? Get it out of here. Pizza Bee has been around since 2012. We're a neighborhood pizza shop, definitely trying to serve New York-style slices, whole pies, pastas, all Italian-American influence. Y'all are dining in today? Yes. Great. What can I get for you? Two slices of cheese. Okay. And two water cups. Great. I'm from the Northeast, so I have really high standards when it comes to pizza, and this is like one of three places in New Orleans that I think is like really good. All right. Well, hi, I'm. Cheers. To you and yours. We definitely have a good chemistry. I think like I would want to hang out with them a bit more to see if it's more than just friends, but we definitely vibe. Have you ever seen a ghost? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Have you? You know, I've never seen a ghost, but I've definitely heard one. I was thinking, like, wow, this pizza's scary good. And I was like, you know, also scary vampires and ghosts. I've never seen anything creepy here that was, like, ghosty or anything. Yeah, I've never seen a ghost either here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed. I'd like I haven't met a vampire, I haven't seen a ghost. Tourists are like, I want to see a ghost. Locals are like, bye. All right, should Let's we get out of here? Let me take you someplace special. Okay. Someplace close to my heart. <laughs> oh, really? Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm excited. We got like between four and six dollars left. Um, I, think, I think I know what we're going to do.
Our couples are having the best dates possible in New Orleans for under 50 bucks while checking off activities along the way. Let's join them for their last challenges. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. There is a big little building filled with items that people might need, and they can just have it if they want. This is so cool. How long has this been here? A year. A year, really? Since the beginning of the pandemic, yeah. Oh, to help out? Mm-hmm. If, if I was a lady, You'd this, be I that? would be wearing this, yeah, definitely. You know, it would probably really suit your hips. I think so. Is this a dress? Good. It's a shirt. It's a shirt. But, I mean, if you're sh very small, it could be a dress. <laughs> Anything can be a dress. This is where they have shows right here. Oh, really? What kind of shows? Like punk shows. Oh, okay. This looks like somewhere gangs go to fight in 80s movies. This used to be a gas station? Yeah, this all used to be a Navy base. Okay. Well, so up until Katrina it was, right? Yeah. I'm feeling pretty good. If she wants to hang out with me after taking her here, that's a pretty good sign. The sort of general name for this area is called the end of the world. You could be talking about, you mean at the end of the world, you mean like, oh, the gas station or like the lighthouse. Oh. So it's like this whole It's area. like no man's land kind of, right? It is no man's land, yeah. Huh. I'm pretty weird and he seems to match that level of weirdness. I mean, this place is, I don't really know who knows about this kind of place, but it's cool that he does. Good place to play ghosts in the graveyard. Yeah. You could really live the true ghoul experience here. The good news is this looks like a place they can try out the ninja skills they learned earlier. That's weird around here. It gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, let's get out of here. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> I'm over I'm it. done now. Let's leave. Gets on boat. Yeah. <laughs> Jets out of here. <laughs> Visually, on the ice, it's perplexing. You're gonna have to like it. So I think we have a good chance of winning now. Dinner, dinner under ten. Dinner under ten. Dollars. Oh no. Right. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Look at, at the everything. daily specials. I know, I know, I know. Oh wait, oh the specials. Because we got Tuesday. So like Cafe's concept is vegan and friends, meaning we have a full vegan vegetarian menu, but we still serve beef and chicken and lots of seafood. I love that it has both options, a place where carnivores and herbivores can come and debate the circle of life. Tacos. We could split a margarita and get tacos. Okay. And we'll have money left over. Okay. We need to go back and like... We need to go back and get... And get, get in depth food. that yes. when we have more than $10. So like one thing I learned, lockdown, I spent a lot of that time learning how to make things I missed, and one of them was sticky rice. Okay. So I perfected, I perfected sticky rice, cheesecake, and I learned how to make pizza, pizza dough, and like pasta Ooh. from scratch. I think I perfected my chocolate chip cookie recipe. In. You did? Yeah. I'm still working on it. Oh, so it's so good. Course. How was everything? It was good? Yeah, yeah it was really delicious. Good. It was perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Oh, how much? 11 28 What? I can leave the rest right. I can leave the rest. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You want to do one more thing after this? Sure. All right. There is a jazz show that happens near the neighborhood every Tuesday night. The, these guys used to own a bar, and then they had to shut down during COVID, okay. and they just never saw the need to rent out their spot again. So they just do it on their own porch. Yeah, let's do it. It is a coffee shop. It's been around since 2013. We focus on board games and creating like a safe, fun community for everyone to enjoy. Hi. What's going on? Good, how are you? Good. Um, I'm gonna get the king. King? King, two kings? Two, two kings. kings. We got like this really interesting drink where it was coffee like within coffee, like inception almost, where the ice cubes were actually coffee. So like when the ice cubes melted, it was just more coffee. If these two break out a Ouija board, every local in there is gonna run like hell, watch. What about Stratego? Yeah, let's play. I like games like this. I like Risk. Yeah, I like Risk a lot. I play that online sometimes, like the mm -hmm. app. I really enjoy board games, and I like the ability to play them in a non-alcoholic um, environment. Nine. 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 Both removed. Should I answer? Okay, now. Remove yours. No, I don't want to. <laughs> and that's how you win wars. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> I think once we figured out the rules, it, it was on. Is that your flag? Yeah. Jeez, you're good. Should I put this back and get out of here? Good. You want to chug coffee first? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Right, cheers. Cheers. Oh my god. That coffee got me really jacked up. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here, man. I had no idea what to expect. I didn't really know if we get along or not. I thought we really, really got along. I think we're gonna keep hanging out. Even if he doesn't want to, I will be hanging out with him. <laughs> Just be hanging out in places he's at, you know? A porch concert. Ah, getting a little close. Cuddling a little bit. Who's got the mosquito repellent? In my neighborhood, three dudes on a porch about 9 p.m. at night, that's beer pong. Welcome back. I have Viva and Kyle and Malcolm and Telly. They've finished their dates. I reviewed your footage. So how do you both feel about the other couple's dates? And do you think that you are more likely to win than they are? I don't know now. I was feeling pretty confident, but... Mm -hmm. like I still don't. feel confident. We, we're pretty well matched. We got old school snowballs. They got new school. Yeah. Both played board games. Hatchet throwing versus Yeah, they're fi getting physical exactly with them. Cool. I think they might have well, been yeah. a little better like, about yeah. that, but we did pretty well with $10. <laughs> yes, I'm a little pizza, jealous of I Pizza think, Delicious. Yeah, pizza was an easy choice. You can get pizza for under $10. They are pleading their case. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if, no offense to you guys, but if you could be as funny as me and Telly. Yeah, we had a really, we had a lot of really good jokes. Did you talk it. about your dad problems? Yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> Not in front of the camera. Yeah, we had a, our own <laughs> private conversation about that, about our dads and the problems they may or may not have. Or problems with their dad's problems and our yeah. problems with their, our dad's Intergenerational problems. trauma. Yeah. We didn't really get into that. No, we didn't. We saved that for later. Yeah. So you both got into intergenerational trauma? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Y'all both got an A++ in every single department, and I loved watching both of your dates. The only thing that stands out to me right now is there was a moment when I was jumping in my seat because y'all got the ax at the same time. Viva and Kyle, you are the winners. <laughs> A $200 gift card to La Petite Grocery. Telly and Malcolm, you are gonna get two separate gift cards to Company Burger, but you can still meet each other there. We knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we knew the whole time. We called it. Confidence is key. Yes. Absolutely. We feel really great. Amy didn't like us enough. What are we you gonna do? We weren't cool enough. We, didn't make we weren't funny enough. We were talking about our daddy issues enough. Yeah. If we knew it was trauma and Oh tandem, my God, if I could win a contest, if I could win a contest for having mommy and daddy issues at the same we time. We won. We have so many problems. <laughs> So ready to eat dinner. I, I love know. Uh, like bottle of wine, appetizers, entrees. Yeah. I don't know. We lost. I, it's okay. I like burgers. It was a really fun time. I mean, it's great to know that you can do things around New Orleans that uh, won't break your bank. The coolest part was I got to meet Malcolm, and we are definitely gonna be friends in the future and hang out. Mm -hmm. I want to say thank you to all four of you. I had so much fun watching your dates. I hope both of you go on more dates. This has been my amazing cheap date, New Orleans. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.